Okay, folks, here we are in the Purgatory River. I'm in the bed where the water here is kind of low, trickling away. And then I walked up here, and what do I come to but this wow, nice little dam. It's got to be a full two foot above the water line where I'm at. Uh, I'll try to get a, a good level view. Here's the water where I am. Here it is. There's the dam. Just flowing over. And I gotta assume that when the bigger melt-offs come, come springtime, this puppy is going to just break loose and not even be here. All of this debris has gotten itself clogged up here. It's going to wind up way downstream. Thank you. And then here's an interesting way of how it, it naturally happens. They just get jammed up one by one, one by one little addition to the video. You see how they jam themselves into the bed of the river and interwoven with one another. Okay, so now here we have a shot from looking down on our dam with the soil build up. You can see how the soil has built right up and caught within all the material, the wood, the sticks, grass fibers, nice little bend. Good day for a walk along the purgatory. See how it's a trickle there and over here where it's all dammed up. We've got ice on top. We've got some stones poking out. I don't believe the water, the ground level is up that high in this area. I think those stones may be partly on top of the ice or they may be on a solid area under it. We'll see in weeks to come. So here we have another given Sunday. Thank you, Creator, for all we receive. Positive river of possibilities is constantly flowing our way. So this is our beaver dam on the other side of this little islandy thing in the middle of our waterfall where the beavers have blocked up this space and the area at the top of the waterfall at the top of the waterfall where they've piled up a whole lot of sticks and right here is a space on this little embankment where they travel about. I'm now under the idea that it's beavers and raccoons and other similar animals cohabitating this space. So here's that part of the beaver dam. I should have shot it from the other side, but I can still do that. And here's little pathways where the beavers roll. The beaten path. And that's what I'm utilizing as their beaten path. There's another little pool here with its eddies. And maybe those are houses. I'm not going to step down in that area. I don't want to disrupt any animal housing in our observational process of nature. 
I need to find me a good wooden dowel. I seem to have lost my own. I need a piece of good hardwood. Maybe I'll find a good beaver cut around. These trees must have gotten here naturally through the flow of the water. And I suppose they could have been bottled up on their own or maybe even coerced. I could see the smaller of the large ones being coerced into position by animals. Beautiful rocks embanked up, part of the embankment. Natural progression, but again, when the river really starts flowing in the later part of the year, it sure will. Break it down, I'm sure. And we'll come back and look at it. See where its progression has been. Okay, so on my today's walk of our Purgatory River, it rained a little bit last night and we got some snow this morning. The flow is a little heavier and dirtier. This is our waterfall. Maybe it's some form of a damming in some original manner. I don't know. But here's our riverbed for the purgatory on this side. And as we walk up the riverbed, we see little animal tracks, which is mostly raccoon and beaver, from what I can figure, raccoon more than anything. We got this little trickle and this nice little rock bed here. This is the little island where the grasses and little trees are. I don't know if this is originally natural or just man-made buildup. Hard to determine. I don't know the true history of all that, but when we come up here on our lovely little walk and we get to a point where there's this, this lovely dam. Here's our beaver dam. Once again, this is weeks and weeks after I originally discovered it in its wonderful form. In fashion, we can clearly see all the chewed up sticks. And now, in my understanding, all these guys here are supports pushing back, pushing back like this big guy here. He's wedged right in, and the one next to it wedged right in. Same here, another guy right there wedged right in to the ground supporting the dam this one's already getting new sticks on top of it and this one's embedded in the side it was here for a little while same here all these sticks are strategically placed at the bottom of that boulder jammed into the side you can clearly see all kinds of animal tracks in the indentations of the mud where they're up and down pushing these sticks all together into place 
there's boulders here. They use the natural boulders or the demand place boulders. There's one there, there's one there, and there's one behind it, hard to see. Not necessary either. But they use those boulders for supports. Once again, I'll get up on it. This is a good 15 to 18 inches above this part from here to here. So with this beaver dam, along with the man-made dam that's blocked up on the other side, made this whole area in here pull up. Excellent waters for our aquatic brothers and sisters. Over here, looks to me like that was a good source of cuts. I can't imagine people cut these in that way. There's a whole stand of them there. There's one down there in the middle-ish, a couple more. They're in the perfect location to have been chewed and nibbled and stuck right in here. I'm going to join this with the other movies that I've created on this subject and put it out there. Thank you for watching my Beaver Dam video. Blessings. Appreciate you. Okay, so here we have on the waterfall dam. A log cut down and chewed upon. Very meticulously. Look at the precision of these cuts. Straight across. A saw could hardly do as efficient a job. Amazing. Ripping that right out of there. Cut all those branches off. And there's stumps in there. I'm going to walk in here. It's my first time walking onto this island. I was nervous as hell in the other parts of the year because who knows if there's bears or whatnot. There's some deep, this thing is deep. Something large cut that path. I feel okay today though. I don't know why I should be prepared to run. But look at these two trees just womp, womp, chucked right down. Now, it couldn't be a bear. There's too many other branches in the middle of the path. -ish. Just large animals, beavers, raccoons, that's my guess, that live up here. And they too could be quite dangerous in their own way. If I'm not careful. It's our lovely little island in the middle of the waterfall. That sucker all nibbled right down. Lots of trees. It's a beautiful little space for these guys to have. Yes indeed. Yes indeed. Creating a piece of art in its own special way. I'm going to take an actual photo of that. Several, maybe. I'll step over a little farther. 
don't have the edge. Nice neat path. Cut and gouged. Another two down tree. Got a nice little trough right into this lovely little lake created by the waterfall on this side. This slightly built up and from the waterfall on the other side. I'm going to take another walk over to the side of that waterfall in a minute or so. Explore our little island right now. now this one's definitely a beaver too. I don't know about this. This one definitely looks like a beaver too. Knocked down and they couldn't drag it. They're overindulgent. Wow. This one here, I'm just seeing this tree right here is going to be coming down any day now, it looks like. Look at that. That sucker is preparing to drop. These beavers are nuts. So I guess once they drop the tree down, they stripping the branches off. Looks like someone has been living back here. I don't think they're here now. Because there's definitely snow. And this area is disrupted. in the side of that tree. These guys are going to town. All the trimmings on the bottom. Gonna start on this one next. Cut all these little guys out. Nibble nibble. Chunk chunk. Got themselves a nice little pile here. Branches cut and trimmed. <sighs> so now, as I've come up the other side, here's <coughs> the other end, the top end of one of those two trees that I was just filming the stump of where these guys have just stripped away branches I don't know where they've taken them but I assume some of them are here and other similar spots I'm going to go back around the other side I'm going to climb back up the tree I don't know if I want to do that today Go down and around. Better safe than sorry. I don't want to wind up getting hurt. So here's the bottom of our waterfall. On the left hand side, the big beaver dam is up over there. The other side of the waterfall is over here. I'm going to cross over in a moment. Now, I'm not saying this is a beaver dam. What I'm suggesting is that the beavers have attempted to and 
succeeded in several ways of building up this space with logs and supplies to keep the water plugged up at the level that they like. This definitely is the waterfall, but it has another few inches, four to six easily, of beaver cut pieces all up on top of here. All up on top. These beavers are nuts. They are a wild and crazy construction crew. 